Welcome back to part three of our coin flip graphical user interface. In the last video we made a basic runner where we and for our graphical user interface we made the outside frame and we compared that to the outside metal frame of a bulletin board and then we also made a panel and that is comparable to the inside of the bulletin board that you can decorate with a background and now we're going to stick another or two objects on this panel or bulletin board and one of them is going to be a coin that we're going to flip and the other one is going to be a button that we're going to use to flip the coin so we'll go ahead and start by creating the coin panel so I'm going to go ahead and uncomment these two lines since we're going to create the coin panel and I'll go ahead and create a new file and I'm going to import a few classes I'll import java.awt and the asterisk means I'm importing the entire um, package and I want to import java.awt.event and I want to import javax swing and I want to import Java X dot swing dot image icon I'll go ahead and name the class so I'll name it coin panel And now we need to make sure we extend the J panel because that is what the coin panel is going to go inside of. So J panel would be the parent class of coin panel and J frame would be the parent class of J panel. It's kind of like those nested dolls where you have one inside of the other on our outer layer we have J frame inside of that we have J panel and then we're going to split the J panel up into two parts uh, the coin panel and the control panel alright so the first um, we'll also need a place for our fields just like always our constructor our assessors and mutators any general methods and a two string. Okay, so we are going to um, create an instance of our coin class. So we'll say private coin coin. Because the coin panel needs to be able to see the coin class, so we need to be able to create an instance of it inside of our coin panel. We will also need um, two, var two variables of type image icon to hold our pictures of our heads and tails Roman coin. So we'll say private image icon and then we'll call one heads icon and the other one tails icon. And then we're going to have a title for our game at the top, so we'll need a J label. So we'll say private J label. And we'll just say this is an image label. For our constructor, we're going to say public coin panel. But we need to pass in the coin, so we'll say coin coin. So we'll need to say this coin is equal to coin. And then we'll need to set each of the image icons to the files. And you, you want the files in the same folder as your um, uh, Java files. How, for Dr. Java anyway, if you're using Eclipse, then you want the images 
um, just outside your source folder where your Java files reside. So we're going to say heads icon is equal to new image icon and then I named my coins romanheads.png and tails icon is equal to new image icon and this is roman tails PNG. We'll create a new image label, so we'll say image label is equal to new J label. And we'll pass in the text that we want to display, so we'll say coin game. And then we'll pass in the heads icon because we need one side of the coin. We might as well say, just start with heads up. And then we want the text in the center, so we'll say swing constant dot center. We then want to say image label dot set horizontal text position. And then we'll pass in swing constants center. And then we want the label at the top, so we'll say image label dot set vertical text position. And then we'll do swing constants. So this puts it at the top and center of our panel. Then we'll need to add the image label to our panel. And we don't have to call panel because we have extended J panel. So all we at the top here, so all we have to do is say add image label. And then we want the background of the panel to be white. You can use any color you like, but I used white. So background, set background, color dot white. Then we need to set the size of the panel. So we say set preferred size. And we create a new instance of the dimensions class. And we're going to set it to be 400 wide by 400 high. And that is the end of our constructor. All right. So because we don't have to access any of these um, items, they're all graphical. They're not going to return uh, text. We don't need any assessors and mutators for this class. And what we need is a method to um, redraw our image or our panel every time we hit the flip button. So we're going to say public void repaint. And then we're going to say if coin is not empty or null and we need to include this otherwise um, we'll get an error that we'll, we'll get a null pointer exception error because there may be a case where the coin image is not there so we want to be able to handle that error if it does happen and not freeze up our computer so we want to say if coin is not null then system.out.println coin colon plus what's ever in the coin variable. So this will just let us know in the interactions panel in Dr. Java if we actually have heads or tails um, besides having the head side or the tail side of the coin uh, be up. 
So that catches it if we have a case where the image is not working correctly. And then we'll say if coin dot get face dot equals heads. And then we want to say image label dot set icon. And we're going to set it to a heads icon. And then we say if coin dot get face dot equals tails. Image label dot set icon tails icon. And then we want to repaint every time. So we just say um, super dot repaint. And the super method goes up to the parent method and our parent class. And our parent class is jpanel. And it has a method in it that's going to redraw or repaint for us. And we are not going to use a two string in this case because we um, are not looking for to print out any of the variables at the any of the fields at the top because they're all graphical or object oriented. And the coin, even though the coin is an object and has a two string in it, it can use that two string if need be. So and there's no case, no need for a two string in this class. And then, of course, this is the end of our class. And this is end of repaint method. And again, I like putting in end comments to keep track of where things start and end, or at least end anyway. All right, so that is it. So let me save this file. We're going to call it coin panel. And again, we want to go back to the runner and make sure we've com uncommented coin panel and panel.add coin panel. And now we should be able to go back here and compile and see if we made any mistakes. And so I have a typo here, image icon. And that was the only mistake I had. Simple typo. All right, well, in our final video next time, we are going to make the control panel for our coin. See you next time.